Hey guys, Cam here, and I wanted to take you through today the pack that I had on my sheep hunt and the gear list that I had for things that worked for me and things that did not. Now I thought this would be more ideal to do after the hunt because I can explain to you things that did work well for me and maybe things that I wouldn't have taken on the hunt. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Okay, so first up, I wanna start with the bag. So I went with the QU Pro LT7000 and I found that the 7000 was perfect for everything I had. So if you listen to the podcast, I was 63 pounds going in with rifle and food. And I was roughly 90 pounds coming out. Um, everything you see here, aside from what went on, uh, what I wore, and the food that is eaten, um, was all packed into this bag. So starting out with the bag, Kuyu Pro LT7000 worked great with the top hatch. Um, it's got all the compartments you need to pack everything. Um, there's your frame down there. And then I had sleeping bag and this was suffice to zero degrees. I was comfortable and warm. Um, if there was ever a time where I felt cool, I could always resort to down gear. Um, so this is the Mountain Warehouse uh, sleeping bag. I find Mountain Warehouse's stuff is awesome. Um, I also went with the packable pillow. Um, this is one thing that I feel I could have done without. I could have used uh, an extra hoodie or something else as my pillow, uh, just to save a little space. Now it is very lightweight, so it didn't bother me any. Um, and you really wanna get yourself a good sleeping mat. So. I went with the Climax Static V and it worked awesome. It also has a thermal top so it helps keep in that heat while you're sleeping, kind of keeps you warm. Another super important piece is a tarp. Find yourself a lightweight but durable tarp. This is awesome for days that it's raining, snowing, you and two, maybe three other guys are trying to get out of the rain and yes, that did happen. So a tarp is a good thing to have, um, just something that is durable. Um, Gators, these I wore probably 100% of the time, uh, aside from sleeping of course. Um, they worked okay until I lost both my bottom straps. So invest in a good set of gators, outdoor research uh, seems to be proven and work very well. Um, next up, for my heavyweight gear, if you are in any sort of mountain hunting, you know that True Timber makes a packable down and I think they are awesome totally comparable to some of the other brands that are out there but they just simply fold right up into the pocket you got a set of pants and a jacket um, these are something totally worth having in your pack if you're going to be mountain hunting um, going through the mountains I had two dry sacks um, one I used for food and the other I just used for keeping other garments dry, extra set of dry socks, an extra dry shirt. Um, and for my gear, on the way out, I wore a First Light top, uh, the Killen hoodie, and First Light tee, as well as a set of long johns, only in the three quarter. Um, kind of nice, I don't have that full heat, and these are not the furnace long johns. And then a set of guide pants. So those worked very well for walking out, all very lightweight. Um, for some extra heavy gear, I went with the True Timber. This is what I use here in our fall whitetail hunting. Um, this is kind of like a heavier guide jacket. It's got a grid fleece pattern inside and that worked well. I did end up using that a day or two. Um, for trying to keep warm and again if there's ever a time where temperatures are really low you can always resort back to the down gear works very very well uh, a lot of guys like to hike with trekking poles and one or two that's totally up to you you kind of find what works for you I personally like two, especially with the way out and having 90 pounds on my back I thought two was a lot easier to stabilize some of the hillsides so Choose what you'd like. I did a lot of research on these. Um, obviously, weight is your best friend when it comes to mountain hunting. So I would highly recommend in doing your research trying to find a lightweight pair. If you have any questions on where any of this is purchased, please don't hesitate to ask, comment down below, or send me a DM. 
Um, also wearing, I had a set of binos, 8x42s is what I went with for this hunt, and a set of Vortex 1000 rangefinder. Over to the side here, um, just this small mech bag. This was good for toiletries, um, Advil, some sort of painkillers, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, so all that good stuff in there. Um, always had a glassing pad. This is actually a tree stand seat, um, but it's got a waterproof cover on it. Nice and comfortable, great. I actually could strap this to my knee and kind of motor along as we were putting a stock on. So that was super helpful. There's tons of options for pads out there. Uh, electronics. Um, this isn't something that is totally necessary, but one thing I found a key feature to have the Garmin InReach Mini. Uh, I think it's probably crucial to have on a hunt like that. It is a small investment, but totally worth it in the long run. Charging my electronics, I use the Rave Power uh, solar charger. So, this is something nice that it could just clip to my back on my, when I had my pack on, grab any bit of solar light and it just charges off of getting light rather than plugged in. And I actually only had to plug this in once before I left for the whole duration. Um, knives, I took two knives with me. Uh, one to get into some trouble and that was the Bear Grylls Gerber. And skinning and deboning I used the Havilon. Inside I brought three extra blades as well. Another important tool would be to have a set uh, like a Leatherman tool and that's got knife, clip, um, clippers and a set of pliers on it. So important piece to have if something breaks you can maybe try and fix it up. Lighter, I went with Zippo, filled that and that was good to go for the whole time. I also used uh, this small jet boil. It isn't actual jet boil brand it is a knockoff and it's just super small and compact works very well I use it on the moose hunts a lot I did bring out my GoPro with me unfortunately I had some malfunctions with it but another piece in the pack two lights one big flashlight walking around and another one for night checking in with my pack and you know making suppers breakfast such like that so headlamp also important a first aid kit. Now this is something you can uh, buy with the right ingredients, so to speak, um, anywhere online. Uh, this is actually the Colons, and they make a lot of camping gear. So I had just customized this a little bit. Um, some, a few things I added to it, some gauze, some super glue, um, needle and some threads, uh, high tension thread, if I had to stitch myself or something up that was important. So that is a crucial piece to have, along with paracord. I went with 50 feet of paracord, good for tying a tent down. I also use this a lot for drying clothes out inside of my tent. So a few important pieces that you want to have in there. And last but not least is the Sawyer filtration system. This is how this works, two piece. You got your filter, you got your bag, fill the water up, put the filter on and fill your bottle. This was important for a couple spots where we didn't have perfect drinking water. It allowed me to stay hydrated through some of the not so nice ponds. But this is the spread for the sheep hunt that I was a part of. Uh, grateful that I got to be on it. It definitely beats up your gear, uh, as I mentioned with the gators. Um, but make a good investment on some stuff that'll work for you. Ask around, there's tons of forums that folks can talk to about pack sizes for durations of your hunt. And I hope this was helpful if you're looking to get into the mountains or do a mountain hunt. And feel free to ask any questions, DM or comment below. Thanks a lot for watching guys.